All right, hello, welcome to part two of the Profit Trailer PTF discussion. We're gonna go through the config files line by line, and we're gonna discuss what they do. Later on, we'll probably do an installation video and then maybe another video on um, you know, strategies and how to build them and everything. But for now, we're just gonna go through here so you have an idea of what everything does, and you can kind of get to it. First thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna get a license key from your reseller that license key is going to get put into this line right here. Uh, you're going to take that license key and you're going to go to the Telegram bot and you're going to use that license key to register your API key that you're currently using with Profit Trailer. That's going to be the general one, the, the, the first one, not the, not the heavy lifting one. That's the, you're going to give them the one that you registered with, with, uh, with Profit Trailer. You're also going to need to give it a path and this path is to the directory where your trading files live. Obviously, that's going to be different depending on the OS you're on. Um, Windows is going to look a little different. I think the default has the Windows pathing in it. Um, and make sure you don't have a trailing slash. That breaks it. Um, the server URL, that's going to be the monitoring interface, kind of like Profit Trailer has. It doesn't exist yet. That's for future releases, but uh, that's there. So don't worry about it right now. Your market condition check in minutes. That's how often to make this program go and check the markets for what condition we're in. Configured later, I'll show you those. Uh, calculate trailing values. Now that's a new thing. What that's trying to do is, if this is set to true, it's gonna look at the time frame that you've set, your, your, your uh, monitoring time frame, And it's going to look and do some math on, on the open and the, and the high. Uh, for, for trailing sell and the open and the close for, for trailing buy. It's going to try to automatically adjust your trailing levels to match the charting conditions. So that's a pretty cool new feature we can, we can play around with and test. These two here, this uh, cost percentages, that's again for if you're in profit trailer, um, you can use those values to use a percentage of your portfolio to be in the market to, for your initial buys. Which is cool, you know, I like it a lot. Uh, it allows you to, again, be hands off. You don't have to, after you've made a bunch of money, go back in and say, well, I wanna use more of my money to, to keep going in. You just set that as a percentage to work out with your DCA and everything else uh, and make it, all, make it all kind of work together. If you're doing Telegram uh, notifications, that's where these go, your Telegram bot IDs. And that's pretty much it for, the, for that part. Uh, the next part is the app settings. So there's several things in here. Um, one thing I should go over real quick is how this thing works. If you don't know already what it's doing, is it sitting on top of Profit Trailer? And it is taking a set of base numbers and then modifying those by offsets in percentage. So for instance, if you're in a bear market, it's gonna adjust your settings to match being in that market. Fully configurable, obviously the defaults work, but you wanna go through here and, and maybe tweak it to your, own, to your own needs. So in general, this is kind of the base. This is where all the, your, your starting limits are for, for all the rest of the offsets to happen. You're gonna give it a base currency, you know, if you're trading in Bitcoin uh, or F or USDT or whatever. Cost, you know, this number right now represents a percentage. And that's because we set percentage in the, other, in the other file. If it wasn't, if it was set to false, this would be an absolute value. Uh, in this case, three Bitcoin, which you know, would probably kick you out errors unless you're a you know, big baller. Uh, the rest of these down to here, those are all standard PT type stuff. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with them if you've been using PT for any amount of time. So I really don't need to go into those right now. Uh, the top currencies to check. So every few minutes, in this case, uh, three minutes, okay? Every three minutes, it's gonna go and check the top 35 pairs to see what, see what the conditions are, see where we're at. All right, the, uh, the minutes to measure trend, that is a measure of how many, how many minutes we're looking at to determine the, the price trend, the price trend change of, of each individual coin. And the minutes for the longer term trend, that's more of the pump and dump protection. So, you're, so it's going to be a wider window to determine uh, what the overall price structure is. And so that matters because for me, uh, 
most of the problems, most of the bags I've created were when I got into a coin and the bot didn't understand that we were in a post pump situation. Um, so you've got this, this, this very narrow window, in this case, 60 minutes. The bot only cares about this 60 minutes. And so if the price has dropped enough in that 60 minutes to trigger a buy, great. But you, you need to be looking at this larger window to determine, you know, is this just part of an overall trend? And so that's what that's there for. Um, the market conditions. So this is where the configurations are to determine what market you're in. In this case, uh, there, there, the defaults are five. You've got Super Bear, Bear, Boring, Bull, and Super Bull. You can add more and you can take them away. You can do whatever you want as long as you follow the, the JSON format. Uh, in this case, Super Bear would be triggered if the max top coin average change was negative two or lower, meaning negative three, negative four. So that is determined by this guy here, the top currencies to check. And then you can set conditions that happen if, for whatever market you're in. And this whole process goes every three minutes when it's checking for the, for the market conditions. I don't need to go through each one of these. Uh, they're all going to be a little different. And you can, you can tweak these however you want. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, the, again, this is in, in linear order. So these offsets apply. So the first offset, offset that's going to apply is going to be your market condition against your base. And then the next one's going to be the price grouping. Uh, this is more for determining big coins versus small coins. You, you, your, your low price shit coins versus the high priced uh, better coins. Doesn't necessarily mean it's better, but that is a condition you can use. Uh, in this case, it's set to uh, you know, 0.001 or higher. And uh, it'll adjust your, your offsets. It's gonna change them by these values. Volume grouping. This is again to, to look at uh, coins that have higher volume, you may wanna be in in a, in a different way. If, if a coin has a higher volume, typically it's higher market cap, which also means typically the trading channels are smaller. Your Ethereums, your Ripples, uh, they don't experience those bigger swings that the lower value coins do. So you still want to trade them, but using this overall blanket strategy doesn't always work. So you want to tweak it to where if it's got this, this amount of volume, change these things. So again, pretty powerful. Um, you also have price trend change. And this is looking at, hey, what to do if the price trend has changed by this amount? Do this. Um, in this case, if the, you know, if you're, if stuff's dumping, the, the change is at negative five, it's going to, hey, turn on sell only mode, turn off the DCA, because, you know, you may not want to keep buying it, or maybe you do. You know, maybe you, maybe if something's dropping really, really fast, you want to get those cheaper deals to DCA it better. That's up to you. You can do it however you want. Um, you'll, you'll turn off your trailing, or you'll, you'll lower your trailing profit offset by 20% and uh, lower the sell level offset by 20%. And you can see there's different, different settings for each, each condition. Again, these stack. So you'll see that you'll, you'll set all these and then it's going to run through the cycle and you're going to get wildly different values per coin based on all of these stacking, these stacking metrics. The last one's that pump and dump I was talking about, the, the longer term price change grouping. Uh, in this case, again, you're looking at a longer window for a change and then what to do based on, on that change. So let's take a look at what that looks like after you've run the profit trailer. It, it takes a while to spin up. The first time you do it, it may be 10, 15 minutes to go through every single uh, pair and get all the candles and do all the calculations and then write to your pairs. When you have that, it's going to look kind of like this. This is the pairs config that lives on, on, the, on the bot uh, that normally would just be PT only. So everything below this line, it's going to tell you what market you're in. Everything below that line has been written by Profit Trailer, uh, Profit Trailer Feeder. Uh, these ones are defaults that live in the pairs properties for each individual market in your PTF folder. Get all that? <laughs> um, but anyway, you can look down here and you can see that it sets, again, this, this base 
It's going to say all trig enabled false because again, the in, 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 a, in a logic line, start with a false condition and then see if it's true. Uh, so it's going to turn it off and then set all of these, and then you can start kind of looking through at these individual coins. Uh, you know, in this case, pot's been set to sell only mode. It'll tell you why because it's it's not expensive enough, uh, so it doesn't want to play with it. Uh, it's going to tell you some notes about every cycle and then the individualized coin configs for each one. It does this every few minutes. So it's, it's pretty cool, man. You can, you can look at this. In fact, if you set the config to, to be done from the GUI on PT, you can actually look at that in real time as well. Uh, the Telegram bot will give you notifications. So it's, it's a really powerful thing to check out. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope that helped. Uh, if you've got any questions, hit us up in Discord. I'll put the uh, the link in the video in the video description, and uh, that's it. That's it until next time.